Hi guys, it feels like it's been a really long time, so I wanted to do a little vlog to keep you guys informed about the channel and what's in store for 2016. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday and a great new year. I decided to take some time off for the holidays, avoiding all forms of work. I love creating video content, but when you also work a full-time retail job, trying to keep the content consistent can be very tiring. Having said that, I've been pretty damn unhappy with my consistency. Despite this being a small channel, there are so many kind and supportive comments, and in all honesty, I feel I let you guys down with how frequently I release videos. We can take the ongoing Ronin saga as proof of that. I've strung that out for a pretty unacceptable length of time, in my opinion. I want to get as many people into Warcraft lore as I can, and when videos are sporadic, people just lose interest. So. 2016 is going to be different. Don't worry, Ronin is still the first thing to get done, but I want to get it totally done before I release it. I have a day off tomorrow, so I'll be getting back to work on that episode. After Ronin, I plan to dive into the Explorers League. I personally haven't even bought it yet, partially due to being busy working on videos, but mainly due to in the last week or so, not having any internet at home since the router failed. Not fun for a PC gamer over Christmas, let me tell you. So, I've come to what might be a little bit of an unpopular decision. Moving forward with Lore of the Cards, I'm no longer going to do community polls to select episodes. The main reason for this is that I feel obligated to get the voted episode done. When it's a big project, <coughs> Ronin, it puts other episodes on hold. I know you guys probably don't care if I release more episodes, but I always have it in the back of my mind that people could be getting frustrated by delays. Without this obligation, I can have several scripts on the go at once, having a few small projects along with a longer episode. I'll of course still be looking at the comments to sway my episode choice. I also want to get more involved with the community in general, bringing positivity to other channels, commenting more and sharing my work more on Reddit, and maybe start some streaming myself alongside Chard to get a more consistent streaming timetable. Along with more consistent lore of the cards, I want more consistent episodes of my other series too, Lore of the Storms and a return of the Three Musketeers Warcraft dungeon lore. I started collecting footage for Abatha and Ed and Susie a resub to WoW. In other exciting news, I received the channel's first payment from our network, which is another pretty sweet landmark. I like to address this in another video as I feel some channels are quite cagey about what they earn through YouTube. I'd like to be very open about it, but don't want to yammer on about it here, possibly in a monthly vlog. So you have an idea of the amount though, it's $66.88, which will be going into a pot to commission original art for Lore of the Cards. 2016 has the potential to be an awesome year. I feel a drive to create more content, maintaining the quality, and I hope you all really enjoy it. I'm finally getting back into creating music, and I'll be getting married to my long-distance girlfriend of six years towards the end of the year. I want to thank everyone that watches these videos from the bottom of my heart, as trying to keep you guys entertained has given my life purpose over the past year or so. It may sound a bit melodramatic, but it is true, so thank you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments section. And until next time, guys, I really hope to be bringing you Ronin sooner rather than later. Bye-bye.